Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out Zero Hours uh, major update news that they just came out with not too long ago. We're going to be showcasing upcoming features for Zero Hours major update. Zero Hours next major update consists of a new map, an attack dog co-op only, a Molotov, gameplay tweaks, and more. This update focuses on content updates and quality improvements. We've got a roadmap here that we can check out first thing on the list here is the attack dog that's going to be featured in this update while the attack dog is very co-op oriented we believe adding this feature will achieve a more rich and dynamic SWAT breach experience attack dogs will be used to detect various explosives in order to protect their handlers and personnel from danger and other crime scene evidence along with more plans to be announced soon along with that improving game modes we will be improving the current game mode modes to add the overall experience of each map and make it more fun and exciting particularly the hostage extraction mode now you'll see here at the bottom they even have like a roadmap for the, for the dates uh, so we'll be seeing august in 2022 for the attack dog september 2022 for the improving uh game modes and it goes on and on from there september 22nd to april 2023 wow uh co-op npc and storytelling so maybe we'll see a little bit more i guess uh in-depth storytelling with with zero hour i know with ready or not that they, they're, they're trying to put a lot of story tell, uh storytelling elements in their game and i hate to compare ready or not with zero hour because they are two different games but they, they both are tactical shooters they're swat shooters so there is going to be a little bit of comparison there um, but as far as storytelling goes i don't even think ready or not is at that level yet so we'll have to we'll have to see what zero hour can do uh, with, with their actual storytelling i don't know how in depth they're going to go but i'm interested to see that lastly here new character models november of 2022 uh, the current placeholder swat and suspect models will be replaced with better detailed characters while more accurately representing the story lore and more with an added possibility of general cu character customizations continuing with the roadmap here august 2022 to august 2023 game audio finalization while we are set aside with many of the game's audio a lot still needs to be changed before we can say we are finalized we are taking feedback from you guys to ensure we find a more accurate and immersive audio experience and that looks like december of 2022 so a lot of this stuff does look like it's going to be coming this year, but we might, as we're going through the roadmap here, you'll notice we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer for the for the vast majority of uh, some of these changes here too. Uh, optimize and polish, so some optimization, total of 15 map content. I'm assuming what this means is they're going to go back and they're going to revamp their maps a little bit. A total of 22 weapons and 13 ut utility varieties, training ground, usable workbench, more achievements, including co-op. Moving on, January of 2020. 23 uh, mocap featured and this is i actually looked this up because i don't know what mocap was but motion capture animations is what they're talking about here all existing animations will be replaced using mocap to bring a more accurate and immersive visual to each movement this includes animations for the swats suspects and even the hostage and civilians the current animations are handmade thus giving them a more cartoon look like and we aim to fix that that's really cool. I'm looking forward to that. Now, lastly here, uh, gameplay overhaul and finalization January of 2023. I don't know if I said it, but previously January, January 2023 for mocap as well. Continuing on here, we got one more uh, roadmap document here. Fixing all existing bugs, declaring to fix the list of current major bugs, but these things take a long time when the recre recreate ability of some bugs are rare and even unknown. February of 2023, that's actually going to be a hard thing to, I don't even know if I would even say that in a roadmap to be, to be honest. You're always going to have bugs that pop up that need to be fixed here and there. So, uh, but maybe they're just referring to like the major bugs, especially Especially coming with uh, these new uh, major updates as well co-op squad AI we were expecting to add the squad AI in the next few months however due to the delay in mocap equipment we are unable to bring it to a more visually appealing state we aim to have it complete by the end of February 2023 uh, so what they mean the co-op squad AI so you guys know like in ready or not in like SWAT 4 where you can kind of control your team you can command them to stack up and breach rooms and stuff like that I believe that's what they're talking about here I don't know if that means that they're going to allow you to have co-op 
co-op like maybe two players that can command two squads or something crazy that would be really cool i've wanted ready or not to possibly implement something like that where you could have two uh two teams two players and you could command two different squads it'd be really interesting i think that's that might be what they're aiming for here so that's february of 2023 uh, additional fixes here ui and uh ux finalization whatever that is uh visual effects and the lighting finalization june of 2023 and lastly here total of 20 map content and i think what they mean by that is that, that they're just going to have the overhaul done with all the maps or maybe they're going to be adding more maps i'm i'm not exactly sure total of 25 weapons and 15 utility uh, varieties reevaluating the balancing of the overall game finalizing more achievements including co-op august 2023 so that's that's an entire year from now now they even say here at the bottom of the roadmap all dates noted are in a pr uh, predicted schedule a portion of a few announced features may come in parts earlier than scheduled but we plan on completing them by the month announced I think they're just given like a very big time window right there. Uh, moving on, new update info for uh, character models and minor animation changes. The current placeholder SWAT and suspect models will be replaced with a better detailed character. Display. Okay, so I think this is just the same thing that was stated in the roadmap. They just give us pictures here to kind of take a look. So let's go ahead and pull this picture up and we'll take a quick peek. Looks like they're going to be changing up the, the SWAT style completely. Looks like you'll have uh, two different variants, customizations for the sleeves. Um, and maybe we'll see some customization as far as like the camo on the tactical rig uh, and being able to swap out the nods. Because I know those are the quad nods there that you see. I don't think those are in the game just yet. Uh, I think they just have the basic uh, two monocle. Uh, whatever those are called the pnvs I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the name there i'm not savvy with the equipment necessarily uh, but i don't think those quad nods are in the game quite yet moving on to the attack dog we got a picture here um again this is at the bottom here this is the roadmap explaining uh, well basically what we just went over and here's a picture of what the uh, the canine dog is going to look like a little bit lower quality than what I would be expecting, uh, but I would assume, you know, by the time this comes out, it'll be uh, polished up just a little bit more. It'd be cool to have like uh, police or policia, whatever it is that they use in that country of origin for the story on the uh, on the dog's plate vest there, the carrier. We got, a, we got a gif here for the gameplay uh, touch up. This is when they were talking about fine tuning and optimizing uh, various aspects of the game. Not really much to go off of in this gif it literally just looks like the dude's nodding his head back and forth and finally we're going to talk a little bit about the new map that they will be adding to uh the game they put here at the bottom that only the co-op mission will have the top floor and the underground parking accessible and pvp this map will be slightly smaller they have a description of this map ms unit just received a call of a raid at the Danishari police station since the terrorist leader Ahmed uh, al Zorui. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably uh, just completely <laughs> botching that. Is held captive inside the station. We assume the terrorist motive is to break him out. MS unit are tasked to stop Ahmed al Zorui from escaping and to eliminate all suspects. A timer will indicate when all prison doors open, leading to Ahmed Zahal. Oh my god. Ahmed al Zahori running towards the exit. However, MS unit is ordered to bring him to bring capture him alive. Okay, that was definitely they did, they did a bad job uh, translating that there. Bring capture him alive. So making him surrender is the only option to complete the mission successfully. They can look at the screenshots for this new map here. Looks interesting. Now, I would be curious as to like the size of this map as well um because i mean they do state that the pvp will be slightly smaller so i'm going to just make an assumption that the map is going to be pretty large in size as is or i'm hoping anyway but that's pretty much it they they add a little bit about a an ost release an original soundtrack of zero hour that they'll be coming out with will be available on august 13th and then in, in the conclusion here we apologize for the delay and lack of updates in the past few weeks we hope to bring out quality content with our upcoming updates sometime late in august it looks like we'll get the canines and all that good stuff late in august but the rest of it is going to take quite a bit i'm glad they're keeping us updated but but wow these updates are taking a little bit longer than what we would expect for this game i'm definitely excited to check out another major update for zero hour i know the last time i kind of just jumped into it and played around and I really had a hard time getting back into it, but maybe I could get some buddies. I could get some people that I could jump back into the game with to kind of get more immersed with it. Uh, 
because now that we have ready or not i'll be honest i haven't really touched zero hour much at all zero hour was pretty much that tactical game for me for quite some time i've got a lot of hours in zero hour so i don't want to you know i don't want to knock it because it is a good game um but as far as you know covering uh, the most of what I want in the SWAT simulator, Ready or Not is doing that for me right now. But Zero Hour does have one thing that Ready or Not does not have yet, and that is PvP. So if I'm ever getting that, you know, tactical shooter PvP hitch, then I'll go back over to Zero Hour and have some fun. Either way, I'm excited to check it out. Uh, when these updates do release, I'll be covering it. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.